Here's a really great example of a proof by contradiction. First, let's ask the question, are there infinitely many primes? Well, first let's assume that there aren't. Let's assume that there's only a finite number of primes. In fact, let's say that there's only k primes that exist in the entire universe, or the mathiverse. So what we could do is we could actually list out all the primes. P1, P2, P3, P4, all the way down to Pk. After which we have to stop because there just aren't any more primes left. Okay, so now let's multiply all these numbers together and let's add 1. So P1, P2, P3, P4, dot dot dot, times Pk, and then we're adding 1. So let's look at this new number that we've created. Well, it's not divisible by P1 because I would leave a remainder of 1. It's not divisible by P2 because I would also leave a remainder of 1. It's not divisible by P3 because I would leave a remainder of 1 as well, and if we look at any other prime, we can see that it will always leave a remainder of 1. So what this must mean is that this new number, this number that isn't in any of the first k primes that we've talked about, must also be prime. And this is why we must know that there are infinitely many primes. Because if we assume that it's not true, that there are only finitely many primes, that we reach a contradiction. Because if there's a finite number of primes, I can always show that there's one more than the number that there should be. So there's an logical impossibility. Because there can't be a finite number of primes, there must be an infinite number of primes. So thank you guys, and have a wonderful day.